Okay, so I wanted to talk about a couple things. So as I'm talking, I feel like I have the right to look around even this much and then reconnect. I have the right to look around this much and then reconnect. So work on that, on looking around that much. I know I have to not look around to the point of like turning around like that, but just look around and then reconnect. Look around like right here and then reconnect. Look around to the side, for example, to that basket and then reconnect. So this one I'm gonna be practicing to do. Looking down at this and looking down at that as I'm talking. So another thing that I wanted to work on is my confidence. So my confidence needs a lot of work. My confidence needs a lot of work. Yeah, I understand that I'm putting a lot of work into it. I'm putting a lot of work the whole time into my personality, but I want to not only, I want to be very confident. How do, what does the concept of confidence mean? The concept of confidence simply means that I'm very, 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 very um, confident with myself. Whatever I say, I stand behind it. Whatever it is that I say, I stand behind it. I don't just uh, just make make a statement and then you're like, you know what I mean? Stand behind what I say. Stand behind every little strong move. I'm getting into a topic that I don't know what I'm talking about right now because I'm actually more practicing than I'm actually saying. <laughs> All right, so um, be very confident to the point I can say whatever the fuck I want. There's nobody that could that, that could say it better than me. I can say it better than anybody. I can definitely say it more better said than anyone. Just remember that. And another thing that I have to remember is that oxygen is confidence. So the more oxygen that I have, the more confidence that I have. So learn on taking breaths in a masculine manner. I want to take breaths in a masculine manner. That way I don't, I don't, I don't have um, a feminine taking breaths in. Don't, don't. I, mean, I can practice that as I'm working out. Practice that as I'm working out. So it's really easy. Practice that shit as I'm working out until it becomes a, a habit. Until it becomes me taking a breath becomes very masculine sounding, and that is exactly what I want to get to. Having a masculine sounding breathtaking, and also reduce the shiveriness, the shakiness, all that. All that. And another thing, whenever I'm looking at a movie, whenever I'm looking at a movie, always know that I could look at the masculine, the man in the, in, in the movie. Don't be only looking at the lady or, or how she's behaving or how she's doing that. Because in movies, generally, what ends up happening is that the woman is always the shaky one, the nervous one, and the guy's the smart one. Even notice in the way they show their movies and in in, in what's on their series or what's on the, the front page it's always a man thinking and the lady's like oh the fuck that what the fuck is this that's outside interesting that always is the case so never be that stupid person always look at the man character in the movie always look at the man character in the movie because that character is usually smarter and take those characteristics on whatever characteristic that I like take it on look, focus less on the ladies focus less on the ladies in any movie in any given movie focus less on the ladies why because the lady is always the shaky one the weak one all that so just remember I could be the strong one I could be the, the leader I could be the authoritative figure it's just that that's never focused on Men always want women to stay submissive, and women always want other women to stay submissive. That is how life continues with its bizarre way. I'm not planning on doing that because I'm 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 beyond I'm beyond natural. I'm beyond normal. I'm beyond average. So that is why I will never accept that particular stupid shit to happen to me. And just just remember, I'm okay. I'm okay with with what I am. I'm okay with staying by myself. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And, and and I'm really okay with that. As a matter of fact, more okay than actually getting into some kind of kind of any of this shit. I always want to be the stronger party. I always want to be the stronger party. I always want to be the authority. I always want to be the authority. I want to be the backbreaker. I'm not talking backbreaker in terms of my physique. My physique, I mean, I'm, I'm as big as a small man, but I'm talking in terms of authority minded person i'm a very author authoritative person authoritative man a feminine matter where we're all she's
she's authority. Well, she she she's she's organizing a stupid event. I don't understand the kind of authority I'm talking about. I'm talking the kind of authority man's authority, standing in an authority figure among men, not standing among an authority fig, figure figure among women. Once you're an authority fig, authority figure among women, you know that you're nothing, bro. And don't be so like, oh, I want to be authority. No, no, no. When authority comes my way, I take it on and lead like a motherfucking leader. So just remember that. It's just that's just the way it is. So just remember that and, and keep it in my mind and do it. But don't be the kind of be very careless. Practice my carelessness. Carelessness is a form of authority. I understand. I'm gonna be listening to this going like, how are these two things similar? Yeah, they are similar. Because if you're careless, you have better things to do and better things to lead. Now if you focus on every little stupid shit, that's what women do. Masculine figures, masculine strong figures are always inside their own head planning what to do for the better good they're not planning what to do oh oh and the dance is cool i have to be the leader no get the fuck out of here that's not what i'm talking about leading means being a leader of the congress or basically what i'm trying to say is that when given the chance to lead lead but don't be fighting over leadership you know what i'm talking about um only fight if it's worth it if that makes sense otherwise be careless. If I can do shit easier, then I can do shit easier. Be more concerned about my life and what I want. Unless the thing is life or death, then I'm going to fight for it in terms of authoritative shit. But I'm authority in terms of in terms of when I stand in a fucking group. I'm authority. Have my voice sound out. Don't be like, okay, by myself, yeah, I'm being authority. About no, it's not about being authority and you're standing by yourself doing nothing. No. Have my voice talk, talk a lot. And at the same time, demand respect and demand authority if I wanted to or if I needed to but um yeah but otherwise um yeah I, I, don't, I don't know how to there's a great balance between the two yeah if I want to say something say something and demand all that because a respectable person is not a person that's standing in the corner and being respectable a respectable person in the way he reacts it's not in the way he sits down and he's respect. No, it's in the way he reacts. Let's say somebody's standing outside in the street, and that could happen whenever. That could happen whenever somebody's standing or whatever it is that they're doing. Is that somebody could come up to you and, and just say shit. And what happens is that in the way you react is where the respect comes. Is where how respectable you are shows. Or how disrespectful you are shows. Or how unvalued you are or how valued you are show is through how you fucking react to the small people and to the big people there's no middle ground you the way you react to all this shit is what makes you who you are